The English poet W. H. Auden once said, Thousands have lived without love, not one without water. At the World Water Week in Stockholm, concerned professionals from around the globe gather each year to help preserve and protect for future generations that most precious of resources, water. It was very fun. I'm sad of going away. The whole idea behind this is, is really to have the students, young students, to do their own thinking about the water issues. Search for the traces, these vigorous chains, high up the mountains and deep down in our veins. Cool, clean water, washing in and over, follow the river. Down to the sea. Joining the more seasoned water and development experts are country finalists for the International Stockholm Junior Water Prize competition. From north and south, east and west, these high school water enthusiasts arrive to begin a fantastic voyage of personal and professional discovery. Fall down, make vivid a black fertile land. Rocks that were riced up will decompose in sand Cool, clean water washing in and over Follow the river down to the sea The road to Stockholm also brings World Water Week attendees and an international jury who marvel at the ingenious, creative, and concrete projects lovingly forged from young minds and hard work. If the world's water future is in their hands, we can truly be hopeful and optimistic. Uh, we're trying to purify water wastewater from phenols. Uh, we basically eliminate lead from water using air shell. So we use the signature application of the micros and the white line. In my project I want to, to reduce the quantity of water which is wasted every moment we open the hot water tap. Well, our project consists of the analysis of the water that we took from the uh, mountains of the area where we live. Try to integrate your uh, environmental chemistry and into the society and also make some economic calculations so it can be discussed about if this actually possible economically. So I, I think it's certainly an important initiative to get young people involved and interested in the science of water. I know that they had a competition, I'm a master student myself and I think okay. it's great that young Students are contributing to the discourse, and I'm, I'm very excited for the prize ceremony. New ideas, things that haven't been tried before, and it's it's important to get that and get that message across as well to other academics and, and scientists that are here attending the World Water Week. For these young experts, the competition offers an opportunity to meet leading water scientists and professionals, participate in seminars, visit research and technical facilities, and attend cultural and social events. Without a doubt, learning is fun. Down in our veins, 
cool, clean water Washing in Andover Follow the river down to the sea Cool, clean water The highlight of the competition is the prize award ceremony held in the presence of Her Royal Highness Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden. Very impressive group, I must say. A blue crystal droplet and a $5,000 scholarship await the winning student or team. Surrounded by pomp and circumstance, thrilling entertainment and inspiring speeches, one winner receives the Stockholm Junior Water Prize. I think some of them are very good. They're, they're excellent. I'm fortunate that only one will win the prize. Uh, you always get very emotional when you see all the, the young scientists up there. Uh, and having done such a wonderful job in, in preparing their, their project, so it's really overwhelming. These guys are the future. They uh, come up with the new bright solutions. That's what we need. A warm welcome also to all the finalists. I had the opportunity to meet you all outside in the lobby, and this year you represent 28 countries from all over the world. And the first important thing to point out is that you are all already winners. I am privileged to participate in this gathering of great young minds who have made the pursuit of water research and science their mission. We have now come to the highlight of this evening's award ceremony for the Stockholm Junior Water Prize. May I ask Her Royal Highness to please enter the stage. The Stockholm Junior Water Prize is awarded to the team from Mexico. I'm sad of going away. No, it's really, really good. Time of my life. That's the best. You're a really good organizer, you know. And so it ends, but many more journeys of discovery await these bright young water people. Amidst the tears of fond farewells, bonds of a lifetime have been made, and hearts and minds carry with them a piece of Stockholm. In a world that needs them, our water resources have found caring and compassionate friends. What I would like to leave with the teachers is that they should encourage more kids, more students to participate. Um, I think that's, that's really what we want to see more. Follow it, follow it.